Welcome to my channel. I'm here to make you think. I'm here to enlighten you and show you things that I peep. But before I do that, can you please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel? And be sure to hit that post notification bell so that you can receive notification the moment I drop a video. And I thank you in advance. Welcome back. Tonight, I will be discussing Lil Boosie and Kamala Harris. As you can see from the title, it says that she won Boosie over. And what I mean by that is, I saw an interview, okay, where he was doing a video with Vlad from Vlad TV. And Vlad had asked him about the election, you know, and how he felt about it. And you know, he gave his response on what he felt about it. And like I said, this, like I did in my previous video, it's an example, and it's, it just proves over, you know, time and time again that black people, my people, who I love dearly, that's what I'm speaking for, are programmed. A lot of people are programmed, but I'm speaking for black people because I'm black, okay? And black people are programmed into thinking that these people are for them just because they have color in them. You know, like I said, I fell for it. I fell for it with Obama, okay? I voted for Obama because he was black. That's why I did it. I seen some color, and I voted for him, period. But like I said, he was on Vlad TV, and Vlad asked him how did he feel about the election. And he said, you know, he didn't like Trump. He said, you know, whatever. Trump was racist. You know, everything that everybody always said about Trump, the same thing. He was racist. Okay? Which is media-induced. But anyway, um, he was asked, you know, how he felt about the election. And he was like, he likes Kamala Harris. You know, he was like, Biden is in there, you know. It's over with for Trump. Biden there. And then he asked him about Kamala Harris. And Boozy said, I like her. The fact she loves Tupac. He was like, she won me over because she loves Tupac. That's what won me over. That's what won him over, he said. The fact that Kamala Harris loves Tupac. Okay? Now you can go watch this yourself. I seen this here on YouTube. You can go find it. I tried to upload a video that had all this and it just wouldn't let me do it. It took like all night and the video never uploaded. So it was just annoying. But anyway. Yeah, that's what he said. So that's an example of people, you know, these celebrities, you know, speaking, you know, about politics when they really don't have any clue about politics. He said what everybody else says. They don't like Trump because they say he's racist, okay? He said he likes Kamala Harris because she likes Tupac. Now, is that a reason to like somebody, a candidate, because of a rapper? I love Tupac, too. Always did, always will. He's one of my favorite rappers ever, you know what I'm saying? If not the best rapper of all times. But, you know, he's definitely one of them because I have others. You know what I'm saying? But that would never be a reason for me to choose a candidate, you know, if I was somebody who voted. Okay? Now, I know so I know he probably playing the game and this and that. I know he doesn't pay attention to politics, but that was his answer. Now, he loving Kamala Harris so much, but he has no idea, you know, because if he did... He wouldn't say the things that he did. If he knew the things that she says, that she said recently, and the things that she's done in the past, he wouldn't feel like that, okay? Because homegirl has locked up black people, you know what I'm saying, black men, way more than, you know what I'm saying, other races. It's just a known fact. Now, like, I know she was a prosecutor, and I know her job is to lock up people, but, you know what I'm saying, was to lock up people, but, you know what I'm saying? It was disproportionately black people that was locked up. She was down with that. She didn't give a fuck about black people. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Having color. So don't think that just because you see somebody with some color in them that they're for you. People have to stop thinking that. Stop thinking that she's for you just because of that. Please stop. Because she was asked a question. She was asked, okay, by, I forget the female's name, but she, was, she did an interview. And she was asked about reparations. What do you feel about reparations? How do you feel about reparations? Kamala Harris buck danced around the question and said things like, you know, you know, yeah, you know, we started off, we had Jim Crow for a century, you know, racism has been going on in this country for, you know, years and years and this and that, which we already know, okay? But still, the question was, how do you feel about reparations? What does that have to do with it, okay? Because you should be saying we should, black people should deserve reparations. But of course, she's not going to say that, and she didn't say it. And, you know, we all know why. I don't have to keep on saying it, you know what I'm saying? Because we all know why already. I don't have to keep on saying it. You know what I'm saying? Just look her up. But her answer was, yeah, you know, what I'm going to do for black people, you know, is this, is, this is not going to just help black people. But she was saying that she's going to do some type of lift act for people who's making $100,000 or less per year. They'll get a tax break. 
I mean, y'all, politicians always say shit like that. What's, what, I mean, come on now. It's, it's, it's like, stop it. The question was about reparations. How do you feel about it? Like I said, she should have been saying, you know, if y'all love her so much, wouldn't y'all have wanted her to say, yeah, black people should be getting reparations? But that's not what she said. She said she wanted to do some type of tax break where it was going to help people, families. And she said this will impact the black people, but it will impact everyone, not just black people. She was like, so I can't, I'm not going to say I'm going to um, do something just for black people specifically. No. What I'm going to do is going to help black people. It's going to impact them, but it's going to help everybody else. So, yes, the answer is no. I'm going to answer for, I'm going to answer for her. That was the answer. You know what I'm saying? So when Boosie makes comments like, you know, I like her because she likes Tupac. If he was to hear what she said there, I wonder would he have the same feelings? Would those be your same thoughts? I would love to know. Anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate you tuning in. I have more for you. I wish I can get that video I did. I still have it, but I just don't think it's going to upload. But anyway, thank you for watching so much. Peace and y'all have a good night. Thank you for uh, rocking with me.